and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a flip through of the book The Curiosity Shop Colouring Book. This is illustrated by Chris Price. Now it's roughly, it's it's shorter than A4 but it's also wider so I'll just, I'll just get a little um, A4 book here. So this is a, your more normal colouring book size as you can see like it's about an inch shorter in the height but it is much wider. It's a square book, basically. It's a really nice uh, sort of matte paper, but it's rough. Uh, it's almost kind of a cottony feel. And the text is in a really nice um, foiling. And I'll just flip over to the back. And the back, same paper, and it's got this sort of... Um, muted colours, like inky colours that you get for the writing. Now, I bought this book off of Amazon, uh, so I will link it below. And But let's get on with the flip. So as I say, it's kind of, it's a bit of an awkward one to flip actually, because I don't want to keep reaching my arm across. So bear with me if I keep doing funny contortionist shapes with my arms and hands. So this is the first picture. It does go straight into the pictures. On the inside of the cover, we have the um, copyright details. So that's actually on the inside cover. And so this is the first image. Now, as you can see, the paper inside is off-white, a sort of ivory color. The whole concept, I think, of these books are that they are old and antique type feel to it. So very sketchy style and as I say the paper is kind of yellowed. It's a really nice, it's a decent paper and it's quite quite thick. It's not majorly thick. You don't get that lovely ping that you sometimes get with the near board. But you know, it's it's quite meaty. So this is the first image. Um we have a well I don't know if he's a stuffed horse or just a model. I think he's a model, look, he's got a bit of a hinge. In all of his limbs so fear not and you know we've got the saddles and the signs and on to the next image and this one's done as one of those um, collectors frames that they have for the butterflies that poor things they get pinned in there's the pins but again it's it's not duplicated so we it's not a wallpaper page like all the butterflies are different so that is quite nice whilst having a kind of a repetitive feel to it and it's in a nice wooden frame if you like doing wood and then we have the next image so this one is a sort of um, I don't know it's just not not a factory I mean it feels like a, a kind of factory environment I mean because it's got all the chains and the lights hanging down from the top but then it's got this typewriter type thing in here printers that's what it is uh, I'm smart I bet you it's like so these are like stamps merchants but you know these are the stamps that you can put into the thingies you know what the thingies are right and yeah and there's a press there so as you can see, like the, the pictures obviously are quite this sketchy style, but as I say, they're quite uh, old fashioned, I suppose, in, in theme. Maybe what you'd get in the sort of the 30s or the 40s, something like that. So we've got this one's a, like a, a perfumery. So we've got this big eau de cologne bottle here. So if you like doing glass, you've got plenty in this one. So you've got your tonic and the, the hair restorer, I guess. But we've got some flowers up here if you like the flowers. But yeah, lots of domes and things. So you'll be able to put lots of shiny, shiny, glossy elements to this one, I think. But you've still got the wooden, wooden top there. And the next image. Well, this is basically another sort of typography one. So these are all fountain pens and we've got a nice big urn here with some which is being used as storage container. We've got some letters which could be used in a press as well I suppose. But yeah this is basically all of the pens. Lots and lots of fountain pens. 
um, as you can see as well these images in general they're not all the same but they do tend to be one of these ones they're busy there are lots and lots and lots of little things that you might look at so this is a bit of a um, cinematic one so we have our cameras here like those old-fashioned cameras and then a camera box but it's also we've got the records on the record player because I guess maybe from before they had sound on film so this is them that they play the soundtrack and things like that but yeah lots of um, gadgets basically lots of small details this is gonna be a book I think that I when I do tackle it it'd be something that I dip in and out of a bit like I do with like Kirby's books or, or the Colin Thompson images um, now this is a Tate and Lyle tin. I don't know if you might remember that. I think I think they still have them. They're like green golden syrup, green cans with gold. Um, but it's been converted into a paintbrush holder because you know we all convert our old jars and tins, don't we, into uh, containers for our pens and pencils? Or I do. I think I consider it my my gift to recycling. So, but we here we have lots of like white spirit. Um, I don't know what this is, medium something, but I guess they're all stuff, pigments and paints. You can make that a really colourful page, but at the same time, due to this um, old fashioned style, you'd make it colourful, but they would still be muted. I think this would be a good book for things like ink tents, for example, or again, the Derwent um, pencils, they have some quite earthy tones in their regular pencils as well. So here we have some taxidermy, we've got a couple of stuffed owls and some birds and they're all in these glass domes for display and then we've got some eggs. Finally a use for that robin egg blue that seems to turn up in a few places, a few sets. So this one we've got, I'm not sure of the connection, but we've got a huge old fashioned, well not quite old fashioned, but a huge fan here, surrounded by lots of stamps. So that could be quite interesting getting them, because you're going to have to do them, I think that's a penny black, you have to do it in a way to differentiate all the different stamps, aren't you? Otherwise it'll just, you can't just do them all with white edges and hope they stand out because it'll just be a fairly boring page yeah that'd be interesting one to do and then we've got the figgins i presume is the proprietor so this is a bit of a jewelry shop we've got some pearls or maybe it's costume jewelry because there is so much of it and it just seems to be slung about um but yeah we've got some ornate little things on next to the name got lots of mirrors so that would be interesting to colour and then you can have all these beads and pearls in, in whatever colours you like I don't know why there's a horse's head there let's not ask too many questions right so next this is ooh, so this is a bit of a nautical one we've got the bow of our ship with a woman there we've got I don't know what that's called but it's the thing that, you know, they decide how fast the ship is going. We've got an, a globe and a compass, things like that. So how to build your model say a model sailing yacht. So we've got a little kit there for the kids or the, the older kids, like grown ups. And, but yeah, nice little um, sort of nautically themed, a bit of an anchor there as well. Okay, so the next one we've got, what's this? I'll be honest, I've only had a little flick through of this. I've not studied all the pictures in detail. So I'm kind of figuring this out with you. So this is like a mechanical hook like you might get in a, you know, in a factory or something. Um, and Oh, so maybe this is something to do with cars. Yeah, so this is something to do with cars because we've got the oil can here. I was going to say, these look like, what are they called? Uh, spark plugs? And things like that and that's the wheels the uh, inner parts of the wheels yeah 
So that's kind of an engine building place. Okay, so the next picture we have, so this is more almost like an antique shop, the curios curiosity shop in itself. So we've got ourselves a little Buddha here. We've got ourselves one of these old fashioned silk screens with uh, a picture painted on, a nice little parasol. And then we've got all this, um, you know, what do they call it? Like the, the Ming and the, you know, the, the Chinese and Japanese um, vases and we've got lots of ornate things as well here in cut into the woodwork yeah that's another interesting one as I say this is a book that I am almost certainly going to dip out in and out of and a page will probably take me quite a while to do but hopefully look quite good as I say ink tents might be good in this so we've got ourselves a nice little penny farthing bike here and a bit of a windmill and a kite so this seems to be like a sort of oh another kite and an archery thing so this is a sort of a games room We've got a roulette wheel and some roller skates so yeah games or activities hobbies i mean we've got a man no is that a mannequins thing or is that one of them ones for the uh what do they call them the fences could be could be whatever you like Okay, so the next one we've got is a shop front and they sell, what are these, like are they like the sort of Fabergé eggs? I think it must be. So these are all them really ornate Fabergé style eggs, which are usually jewels or golden and things like that. So plenty of bling could be worked into this one and then we've got some little portraits and, and pictures there. now we, we're about halfway so we've got some see we've got some seashells and we've got a starfish here so this is a fairly basic one it looks like it might be kept in a sort of box or tray so maybe somebody's collection but yeah fairly straightforward one so you get some nice pinks and pastels you know them um, sort of irides oops, iridescent shells that you get that would be good for that one so here we have another shop front. Sorry, let me just break the spine on this a bit. So we have another shop front here. Um, I'm not really sure what it what it's selling. Letters, apparently. Perhaps they're, I mean, it's called Bright. Maybe these are all sorts of um, signs, signage. But they kind of look like, you know how you get um, the fun, the circus font yeah so basically we, we've just got different letters so this one we seem to be in well that looks like a brick arch and we've got a train here in the background like it looks like sort of stevenson's rocket sorry this spine is very much misbehaving let me just force that there we go so yeah, a bit like a Stevenson's rocket, but we've got a bicycle here and we've got lots of luggage. So I guess they're going on their holidays. Yeah, a little baby's pram. So a bit of a luggage thing. And the next one, again, we've got these, uh, we've got ourselves a Fabergé egg here, but it's set all amongst the normal eggs as well. So you can color that however you like almost like it's in a nest as well certainly lying in grass so this one we've got um, a table full of keys apart from that what's that that's one of those um, corkscrew isn't it but the rest oh well, we've got a pen so they're not all keys so take a tell it take it back so we've got a little watch there, and a little fob watch there as well, and a photograph. A fish, you know, never know when you might need a fish. But yeah, mostly this is, it almost looks like it's meant to be like somebody's drawer. With, you know where you have that drawer where you just chuck all your pens and all your keys? I reckon it could be one of those.
and here we've got another one of those sort of display boxes like we had with the moths uh, not with the moths with the butterflies but now we've got it with the moths we've got the caterpillars and the moths um, and we've got ourselves looking at one underneath the magnifying glass but they are all in a frame this is the wooden frame and you can see the pins and stuff not my kind of thing to be honest but you know So this one is, well, we're in the taxidermist now, so of a big game hunter by the looks of it. So we've got our tiger and our rhino and a crocodile, and a bear, lion, buffalo, elephants, and a zebra, a zebra. Got some turtle, tortoises and ducks and stuff as well. And are they pictures? Possibly they are pictures or just in glass, glass frames, but these ones, look like they're actually alive and like sitting on the um, ledge there so who knows this one we've got it's a sort of one of those um, old-fashioned dressers that you would have it like in the kitchen where it's got all your china that's the word I was looking for so you know you've got your dishes your cups and saucers your serving platters and some you know a nice little basket there you can do as well and a plant you know one of those plant holders another one there and this one is clocks we've got lots of springs as well so we've got the inner workings can't see any cogs do like a cog i may have mentioned that once or 50 times before um, but yeah we've got the big sort of main clock there and then we've got a bunch of smaller clocks and watches we've even got ourselves a little um, sort of kiddies novelty one with like well, I don't know who's he Felix the cat or somebody like that so yeah that's like a gadgety one. Oh, there's some cogs I suppose it's a mechanism isn't it that'll do Now this one is, what are these? So this looks like, it's obviously another display case um, and it's got some rulers and stuff around it but these uh, look like those sort of um, rocks you know you get those uh, crystallised type rock formations and fossils I think it's one of those, it's a bit of a display case for that so obviously a collector And this one is a fisherman collector. Again, we've got our mounted fish, much like some of the other critters and animals that we've seen. So we've got a butterfly there as well. But we've got a couple of fish in display cases and also we've got a couple of heads on trophy heads again. Now this one is, so we've got Burma and Kabul, Afghanistan, so these are all sort of a military one, obviously this is one of those sabres with those really ornate um, handles, you know, you kind of put your hand in that, um, it's like, because it guards you, so yeah, obviously a very sort of old fashioned, and there's a medal, a couple of medals, old fashioned sort of um, military person, and they're mementos I suppose. one for arachnoph arachnophobes so we have several spiders on this one two three four five six spiders they're all big ones see no seven um and but the web has been done almost like pearls because we and we've got these jewelry items that are all sort of part of the web but as i say the web itself is quite ornate so you could almost do that as a as a jewelry type themed ones lots of gem, gems in the border as well around the edge this one we're in the music shop um, it's the old music established 1751 so we are talking quite quite old-fashioned here um, but we've got banjos guitars sort of old-fashioned keyboard thing there drum kit 
So lots of little things again. Nice if you like brickwork. I have a strange thing about doing bricks. I quite enjoy it. I don't know why. I find it quite therapeutic to do bricks. A little gramophone there as well. And the next one we have, so this is obviously in a kitchen. So we've got one of these, um, I suppose what we would call them arga cookers now, aren't they? So like the range, and this is what you open up, it's the fire inside and you cook cook your things in it. And we've got our cutlery here and lots of, um, so we've got some milk bottles, but lots of these sort of urns and uh, containers, an old fashioned mincer. And then we've got all these nice little, um, they do look like puddings cakes and the like that have been baked in the kitchen good if you like um, colouring food so this one is your uh, like what you'd have next to your coat stand so we've got all the walking sticks and the like a couple of little gongs I'm not sure why they have the gongs there I'm sure it's got some significance but they do have tags on them so we're in a shop and these are all for sale in the curiosity shop I suppose so this is another shop we're in um, a sort of haberdashery I suppose because we've got brooms and we've got well we've got a gramophone thing there as well pots that's like um, what they used to do the laundry in things like that saucepans more brooms more pots lots of things all hanging from the ceiling We've all been in a shop or place like this where they've had things hanging from the ceiling, right? So, yeah. And now we're in the hat shop. It's much simpler, but we, we do have some of these. Again, we've got this military theme going on where, you know, they have them big, tough, them big sort of... Um, if you're in the UK, they're like the old-fashioned uh, policeman's helmets, which, you know, they go upwards. Um, but they have this tufty fur thing that goes on top. And so it's like their um, official uniform, you know, not necessarily what they're out fighting with, but they're just what they go on display with. But we've got some other um, hats here, pith helmet, we've got some the top hat, but we've got our ladies' feathers and stuff as well. So a nice collection of hats, and we've got a nice little mirror there if you like doing glass. Okay, another bug one. Um, yeah, so these are all the beetles this time, got the pin treatment and then we've got a bit of a draw handle there and the knob where it's been pulled out. This one is, well, we've got a couple of human skeletons and this looks like a fossil. We've got some bones just sitting in the um, trays here yeah so lots of skulls at the top so another one of these collector's ones though it, the, that looks like it might be another mincer maybe looks a bit ominous yeah so this one it's obviously not 17 established 1751 in this one because we've got ourselves a nice motorbike in here with an engine big butterfly but we've got a you know spanners and saws so it's clearly like a workshop type thing or maybe someone's garage it really has collects all that rub rubbish i didn't say rubbish you know but you you collect tools don't you that all the garage seems to be that collects all place for for tools and watering cans and trowels and and motorbikes so this one we've got quite an old-fashioned um you know, that's like a church window, but without the glass. Uh, but we've got some quite ornate uh, things around the edge to frame it. Um, we've got our coats of armour. And we have just the head there. That looks like a cannon. And some statues. That looks like a helmet. So, yeah. Maybe sort of old stately home or something like that. So this one we've got some books if you like colouring books. Not colouring books. I mean this is a colouring book. You know, never mind. So if you like books and enjoy colouring them in, that works better. 
then we've got some here and we've got some, also some bottles as well which look like they could be quite metallic if you wanted to do them that way but yeah a relatively straightforward page that as well now this one we've got some masks old-fashioned masks um, that's a bit of a looks like it's made of wood and kind of tribal and then we've got like a sort of painted lady type one all sorts of things in here we have a cross yeah and this one we're in the opticians I know this because it tells me um, so we've got some eyes that we can do here and binoculars lots of binoculars and spectacles and I don't know what this is maybe this is the thing that they used to look into your eye not in the old days do you know an eye test and then that is it we have the back cover which is just dedicated to the um, illustrator so Chris and his uh, is this I'm not too sure who Delicia is They've just been working together it's maybe she maybe she helps compile the book I'm not sure anyway that is my flip through of the Curiosity Shop, which is illustrated by Chris Price. Um, I will leave links to this, as I say, in the description below if you're interested. I did get it from Amazon. If you enjoyed this flip through or found it useful, then I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, then of course, just, you know, hit the button. And if you, you know, select the bell and you will get notifications of any time I upload new videos. So thanks so much for watching. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.